Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 26th HTML tutorial. In the last couple tutorials, we actually started making a profile page as a part of our, our first HTML project, where we're basically putting together what we learned throughout the other tutorials. Um, so in this project, we're going to be building a page basically where we display some information about ourselves. Uh, and you can kind of think of it if, you, if you've ever been to an about.me page. Um, it just displays some links and some a picture and some text about yourself. Uh, similar to what we're doing here, but this is a little bit more simplified, or a lot more simplified rather, uh, than on the about.me page. So, uh, if you'll notice, we actually in this in the previous tutorials we added um, our title, a picture. In in the last tutorial, we also added uh, this div here with some text inside of it, and then we used a little bit of CSS code to style the div. But seeing as this is an HTML tutorial, I wouldn't worry too much about the CSS. Um, and if you follow along, you should be fine. So, let's get into the code and see what we did here. Uh, so in the last tutorial, what we did was we actually added this div, uh, which we called body in the ID for the ID attribute, and we just added some text in, inside the div here, which is displayed right here. Um, so what we did was we used some CSS code to reference this body div uh, using the body selector there, uh, and we just basically just decided how we we're going to make the div display. So we set a one pixel dashed black border, uh, which is here. We added some padding so that the text isn't right up against the sides. We centered the div by using uh, zero pixels auto margins. Uh, we changed the margins on the top and the bottom as well, and we did some other things just uh, to make the text look nice. So uh, that, like I said before, that isn't something that we're going to need to worry about for this tutorial. Um, but just a little review of what we've been doing. So uh, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to add and style the links here, and we're not going to be using any CSS to do that. Instead, we're just going to be using plain old HTML. So let's get into it here. Okay, so seeing as we already have 10 pixels of space, which we defined in our CSS code for the bottom margin of this div, um, we don't need to add in any more spaces like paragraph spaces, though if you want to, you can. Um, it's completely up to you. Uh, we're just going to enter in our links here. So the first link we're going to enter underneath this div uh, is the technical cafe link. So we'll just add our anchor tags here. And within the, the, the um, attributes of the anchor tabs, tags, we're going to have uh, href for hypertext reference, and we're also going to add a target attribute to basically to make the link open up in a different page. Uh, and if you watch the hyperlinks tutorial, you'll remember this. So uh, we'll say target under equals underscore blank, and uh, blank means new page or new tab, so just so when a user clicks on a link from here, they won't leave our page, just uh, the link will open up in a new tab. Um, though this is completely up to you. If you don't want that, you just don't have to add it. So we'll say HTTP, uh, and remember if you're linking to an outside source, it's important to have the HTTP, otherwise the uh, browser or HTML will be trying to link to a uh, web pages on your server uh, or on your computer, which isn't something you're going to want, um, as we're not trying to link to an internal page here. So uh, we'll just say technicalcafe.com, target's already been specified as blank, and what we're going to do is we're going to just enter in technical cafe. So if we save that, come over here and refresh, uh, you'll see that we have our technical cafe link. Uh, however, this link isn't centered, so it doesn't really match the overall uh, look and feel of the website. So we'll just add some center tags in here uh, to center that up. So we'll just add our opening center and our closing center tags. And we'll just refresh. And you'll notice that we have our technical cafe link. And when we click on it, because of our uh, underscore about, about underscore target equals underscore blank, sorry about that, uh, attribute, it opens up in a new page here. So we'll just exit out of that. And we'll add in some some more links here. So just actually space that out to make it look a little better. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in another link. And we'll say href equals, we'll say Twitter. And remember the HTTP to reference an outside or external source. Uh, Twitter.com slash jamiemcg for me. And we'll say target equals underscore blank to open it in a new page or tab. And uh, remember that the uh, quotation marks are important, uh, not only in HTML, uh, but more so in other languages like PHP, JavaScript, Java, stuff like that. So right now we're just, uh, we'll add our Twitter link, and we'll save, and we'll refresh. And you'll notice that we have both of our links here, and they both open up in new pages, um, but there's very little separating them. So what we can do here uh, is we're just going to add, right after this link here, uh, if you hit the shift key and then hit the key above the enter, uh, it should produce a straight line like that. I'm not really sure what that's called. Um, but it, 
they kind of work as a nice separator for links and or other text that you want to separate here. Uh, though it's completely up to you how you want to style it. So uh, we'll just do this again after this, and we'll create another link. We'll say ahref equals slash a. We'll create a new target. And we'll say underscore blank, and we'll say maybe Facebook. Uh, so facebook.com slash jamiemcg and we'll come in here and we'll add our Facebook link. And we'll do the same for Daily Booth as well. So ahref equals dailybooth.com slash jamiemcg and if you notice I try to pick the jamiemcg name. Uh, so target equals underscore blank and we'll say Daily Booth. Okay, so now that we have all of our links here, you'll notice that they're both different colors. Uh, as I already clicked on Technical Cafe and Twitter, but haven't clicked on my Facebook or Daily Booth link. And seeing as uh, we kind of want people to have the same look whenever they visit this page, we're going to go into our body tag and actually specify that all these colors be set to black. Uh, and you can choose the color of your choosing, but I just think black looks nice. So uh, we'll come over here to our body. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, here we go. I didn't actually put the body tag in. So if we save, come over here and refresh, everything's still good. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to say uh, body a link equals, and we'll say v link equals. And if, you if you'll remember from our uh, previous tutorials, you'll notice that a space link uh, is for active links or links that haven't been clicked on yet, uh, like the Facebook and Daily Booth links here. Uh, and visited links, which you usually see as purple by default, are links that we've clicked on. So active link equals, we'll say black. So if we come over here and refresh, these links both get turned to black, even the underline. Um, and these links are visited, so they're still going to be purple. And we can just switch that by saying v link equals, uh, in quotation marks, black. So if we save, come over and refresh, you'll notice that now everything here is uh, uniform, no matter if we click on it or not. Um, it's still black. So this is this is good for if someone visits your web page more than once uh, and perhaps clicks on a link, they'll still see the same thing every time they visit. So basically this is where we left off uh, on the last tutorial. This is the finished uh, product here. And feel free to play around with it, add things, add tables, uh, change the background, um, stuff like that. Maybe fool around with the CSS to see what you can make. Uh, for instance, if you wanted the bottom margin to be 50 pixels of space, you can come in, change it, and move the links down a little bit. Um, but if you move it too far down, you'll notice that you're going to have to scroll eventually. So I tried to avoid that here. So we'll say put it back to 10. And uh, this is basically our profile page. So again, feel free to add more divs, play around, stuff like that. Um, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Uh, you can send me a private message on YouTube. You can also go to the Technical Cafe website and click on the contact page. Uh, and seeing as we have it right here, I'll show you. And you should be able to send me an email right about right here. Uh, and that should be delivered to me, and I'll answer you on that too. Uh, also, feel free to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Um, Technical Cafe is on Twitter as well, twitter.com slash technicalcafe. Um, and thank you for watching.